In this tutorial by the Gamesmiths, we'll be learning how to create a local multiplayer game, which means that it's a normal multiplayer game, but instead of being played over two different devices on the network, it will be played on the same keyboard and the same PC. So, without first, it will be played on the same PC using the same keyboard. So, without wasting any more time, let's jump into Unity and create one. First of all, if you're making a single player game, this will be the code you will use to control your character, whether by the WASD keys in your keyboard or the normal arrow keys. So, first of all, you will declare a float variable for the speed, another one for the input in the X direction, and another one in the input for the Y direction. And finally, you will make a reference to your rigid body. Now, giving both of the X direction float and the Y direction float a value depending on the input by the player and finally transforming this to a speed for the characters. So this will work perfectly if you have a single player in your game. So now using the arrow keys you'll find that the player moves in the corresponding direction and the same happens if you use the WASD keys. However the problems start when you add another character to the scene which has the same code attached to it. So now whether you use the arrow keys or the WASD keys, you'll find that both the players move whenever you use the arrow keys or the WASD keys. And that's definitely not a multiplayer game. It's still a single player game but with two characters. So what we'll need to do right now is to create a different input for each of the characters. To do so, we'll head to both of our characters and remove the main control script. After that, we'll create a new C-sharp script. Let's call it move arrows. So that will be the script responsible for moving the character when we use the arrow keys. Again, we'll create another C-sharp script, but this time we'll call it move WASD. So now the character which this script will be attached to will be moved using the WASD keys. So let's open the arrow script in the Visual Studio and start coding. The start of the script will be the same as a normal movement script, so we'll declare a public float called speed, and then another float which will be our movement x, so the movement in the x direction, sorry, and another float called movement y. And finally, a rigid body 2D, which will be called RB. In the start function, we want to reference our RB to be the rigid body of the player. So RB equals get component, and that component is rigid body 2D. And in this case, we want to set our movement x to be equal to 0. And the same will be for the movement Y. Then in the update function, we want to set our RB.velocity to always be equal to new vector2, and that vector2 shall be movement X multiplied by speed. and then multiplied by time dot delta time. For the y direction, it will be movement y multiplied by speed one more time, and again time dot delta time. Now this line of code will be responsible for changing the speed of the character each single frame. So to control this, we'll need to set a condition to store the input of the player. So this will be if input dot get key down and this key code will be the up arrow for example in this case we want to set our movement y to be equal to 1 we'll do the same for the down arrow so if input dot get key down key code is 
down arrow in this case we want to set our movement y to be equal to negative 1 but for the left and right arrows we'll do the same but instead of the movement y we'll be using the movement x so if input dot get key down but this time the key code shall be our left arrow we will need to set our movement x to be equal to negative 1 finally for the input dot get key down and then key code dot right arrow we will need to set our movement x to be equal to 1 now save the script, return back to Unity, and add it to your first character. Set a value of 100 for the speed. Once you run the game, you'll see that the first character is no longer controlled by the WASD keys, however, it's controllable by the arrow keys. But now you'll see that we have a total different problem. That now if you removed your fingers or press from any of the arrow keys, the character will still be moving in the final direction it was ordered to move in. So to fix this, we'll head back to our script and we'll add a final if statement. Inside this condition, we want to check if input, but this time it will be get key up, not get key down, and the key code shall be our up arrow. or the input dot get key up but this time it will be the down arrow in this case we want to set our movement dot y to be back to equal zero now copy the same script paste it one more time change the value of the movement to be movement dot x and change the directions of the arrows to be the left arrow or the right arrow. Now save the script and return back to Unity one more time. Now once we're back in Unity you'll see that if I press the right arrow the character will be moving in the right direction however if I stop pressing the right arrow the character will immediately stop. Now that's for the first character. Now we'll go and copy the same script and paste it inside the movement WASD script. So once we do so, it will be the same exact script but we will be changing the key codes. So instead of the up arrow, we'll be using the W Instead of the down arrow, it will be S. For the left arrow, it will be A. And for the right arrow, it will be D. Now do the same with the afterward conditions. So the up arrow shall be W, S, and then A, and D. Finally save the script, add it to the second character, and again set the speed to 100. Now once you run the game, you will see that both of the characters can be controlled independently of one another. So if you learned something new today, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is the Gamesmas, and as usual, see you in the next one.